Good morning, YouTube. It is kind of a gray, rainy Thursday. Um, I just wanted to show off my cargo camper that I've built, or at least what I have for now. So, let me just show you kind of what I got. Give you some ideas of what I'm thinking on doing next, and what I'd like to do, and get y'all's opinion on it as well. Alrighty, so I'm doing some woodwork in here. Um, I've got the E-Track in here that I've got two by fours all the way across. I got four of them, and that's where the bed will go. It sits up there. This is a ramp door. Um, it is a five by ten Wells Cargo cycle wagon, and it has a cone nose in it. That I'm framing out the cone nose and I'm going to be working on that and turning it into uh, shelving or something along those lines. i got to figure it out. Um, I'm also wanting to put an air conditioner in here. I installed this 10 metal roof to hold up the foam insulation that I have and some bat that I have up there. Um, I don't really want to put a roof unit on it because then it kind of limits this trailer to a roof unit like it they have to use it for that so i'm thinking about either a cutting a hole right here and putting a window unit sliding it into the front or doing one of those climate rights where you set the unit outside and then you duct it into the side because i've got that dart right there and now i've got one back there as well i could put another one of those holes on the other side underneath the spare tire or I could put them over here I could do something to where it looks like it's a factory thing but it's for the air conditioner I would think I'd want it on that side of the trailer though opposite of the door so, yeah this is just a little progress of what I got going on um, I got a single switch for 12 volt that controls everything 12 volt I got lights on the inside lights on the outside I have um, 120 outlets, 20 amps each side. Did those, and then I'll show you outside. Here's my outside lights. I just got some off-road lights on this side, kind of light up where you're where you're parked at. And then I got some that I use for backing up. If you need to back up, then you can't see at night. Flip those on, and you should be able to see. I also installed an outdoor outlet. Haven't used it yet. But it's all wired up, it's ready to go um, for whenever. This cone, I tell you, this, this white trailer is hard to keep clean, it really is, especially this cone. You could tell where I pressure washed it before. Um, you now I've had a few birds decide to, to make their mark on it as well. But across the front, we're gonna put a, like a mountain range decal or something up there, just to give it a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little personality, I guess. So, I do have a toolbox up here, it's cobalt, right there, I've got my 30 amp plug in, it's a screw on type, and right there I've got a 110 outlet, it's actually the charger, it's a trickle charger for my battery, I keep my battery, I keep propane in there, the little gas, green gas propane's in there, uh, some tools, my breaker box is in there, stuff like that, so. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at. I kind of like the right climate because all I have to do is drill a hole in the side. It would kind of look factory. I can make it look factory. Instead of having a big roof unit on top, or cutting a hole here for a window unit. So I really think that that's my best bet. Although a window unit wouldn't look bad here, I don't think. As long as it was sticking out and then covered, I don't think it would look too bad as long as the cover came off. But uh, yeah, just give me your opinion what you think so it's a 5 by 10 cycle wagon it is a motorcycle trailer it is relatively low to the ground torsion axles um, pulls really easy I got a huge truck so I don't I don't feel it anyways but really really nice um, I plan on putting another motorcycle in it I don't have one at the moment but that is my plan future plans so I got to keep that in mind that it's got to be versatile to allow a motorcycle still get in there 
I'm gonna try and put the bed on the roof, see if I can still get the motorcycle in there. It's it's all just a uh, um, trial and error kind of thing. So yeah, let me know what you think about the AC unit. That's the biggest thing I would like your opinion on. If you have an opinion on other things, let me know that too. I'm, I'm open to all suggestions. Obviously, I gotta do something to clean it as well. One last thing, I would like to get an awning that would span in between that light and that light or over it and I can put it on the top part and bring it out. Um, I think the actual trailer itself on that outside portion is about, uh, it's not quite 10 feet, maybe nine and a half up there from outside to outside of that light. I don't know if I make an awning that big, don't know if I need to remove them lights. So that's kind of my thought. It's either that or I'm gonna put a six inch or four inch PVC pipe across the top up there, store things in it and use it uh, to kind of put a tarp on the top to keep the rain off of it and uh, add uh, shelter on this side of the trailer. So I'm done blabbing. Y'all leave the comments uh, and let me know what you think.